All right guys, so today's video, this is kind of the direction that I'm looking for this channel to go. I got an email from a viewer and uh, of my YouTube channel asking me a question, a fitness question that he wanted answered. So I'm gonna read it for you guys and then I'm gonna give you my response to it. So um, this viewer's name is Adam. He says, all right, mate. So I'm assuming that he's either British or Australian. He says, all right, mate, just wanted to ask a few questions about the best ways I could be losing weight slash burning fat and what training methods you would recommend for this. I'm currently weighing 98 kilograms. My aim is to be weighing 88 kilograms in six months. So kilograms, uh, to find kilograms, you have to convert you times that by 2.2. So 98 times 2.2, that's like 215 or 16 pounds. He wants to weigh about 190. So he's looking to lose about 15 pounds uh, in six months. I'm hitting the gym on a regular basis at six times a week for two hours per session. I prefer weight training over cardio, but I'm happy to train whichever is going to get me the results I'm, I wanted to achieve. Any feedback would be appreciated, mate. Cheers, Adam. Okay, Adam, so right off the bat, uh, by reading your email, I'm getting the uh, notion that you think that training solely is gonna get you the progress that you want. Uh, I'm here to tell you that that is false. I think this is um, the thinking of a lot of people. A lot of people think that all they need to do is train and they're gonna get the results. Uh, but I think that's false. I actually think that nutrition is way, 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 way more important than training. If you don't have nutrition, you don't have a foundation to train. Okay, so uh, when I was cutting for my physique show, when I lost 30 pounds in five months for my physique show, uh, I used my training as a tool to increase my calorie burn for the day. So in order to lose weight, I've said this a thousand times, you need to be burning more calories in a day than you're consuming, okay? So I used my workouts and my cardio sessions as tools in order to burn more calories in a day so that my food deficit didn't have to be extremely low. So I looked at my workouts as a tool to burn more calories. But my priority was always, always, always Nutrition. Nutrition comes first. Nutrition comes first. Nutrition comes first for weight loss. If your goal is weight loss, nutrition comes first before training. So you need to have good nutrition as a food, as a base. What does good nutrition look like? It looks like eating whole foods. What are whole foods? Okay, whole foods are not the whole foods from the supermarket. Whole foods. Whole foods are uh, foods that once had a heartbeat. Foods that once uh, flew foods that once swam, foods that once uh, walked this earth, okay? So chicken, uh, turkey, all that good stuff, all things that were once living. Uh, whole foods are also uh, vegetables, things that came from the ground, things that came from trees, um, seeds, nuts, vegetables, fruits. Uh, whole foods are not things that came from factories. So if you have any notion that something came from a factory, it's probably not a good thing for you to eat. Uh, also, I wanted to talk about another thing. This is like a simple math formula that you guys can follow to lose one pound uh, a week. Okay, so there is a math equation for you guys to figure out how to lose one pound per week. All right, so the first thing we need to find out is our BMR, our basal metabolic rate. What our basal metabolic rate is, is the amount of calories that you would burn in a day if you literally laid in your bed from the second you woke up to the second you went to bed. So the math equation to figure this out, you guys probably wanna write this down, is, this is for men. I will give the one for women uh, in a second, but the reason I'm giving it for men is because majority of my viewers are men. So it's 10 times your weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times your height in centimeters minus in parentheses, so the parentheses means you do this equation first before you subtract, minus five times your age in years plus five. Okay, all right, so let's take me for example. So I've already done out the math, so it would be 10 times for me, that is 
10, oh, sorry, how long? Give me one second. 10 times 90 kilograms, okay, plus 6.25 times 183 centimeters, minus 5 times 28, but I'm not 28, so I don't know who, what equation I was doing here, but I was doing somebody else's equation that wasn't me, uh, times 28 plus 5. Okay, so this isn't the equation for me. This is just a random equation that I wrote down on a piece of paper that I was doing in class, actually. Okay, so 10 times 90, 900. Uh, 6.25 times 183 is 1,143.75. Minus 145. Okay, so you get 900 plus... 1,143.75 minus 145 equals 1,899, we'll call it, we'll round it up, calories. So in a day, this random hypothetical person that I made up burns that much calories if he literally sat all day long. Okay, but nobody, especially the people that are working out, is sitting all day long, so this isn't a good number. So what we do with this number is we find out how much calories um, we are using in a day. So how many calories we're burning in a day. So what we do is we take our BMR, so our basal metabolic rate, which is the number we just found, and we times it by our activity level factor. So um, they, the mathematical equation for this has broken out your activity level into a number. So we're going to take our BMR, so our BMR was 1,899, and we're going to times it by one of the four, or one of the five different activity levels. So you guys probably want to write this down too. The activity levels are, for sedentary people, 1.2. The activity levels for light activity, which is one to three days a week, is 1.375. The activity level for medium activity, three to five days a week, is 1.55. The activity for a very active person who works out six to seven days a week is 1.725. And the person that works out two times in one day, extreme activity level, uh, is 1.9. Okay, so we're, let's just say at random that this person, because most of you guys are probably working out, uh, I'm gonna say most of you guys are working out probably five to six times. So we're gonna go in between moderate and in between very active. So we're gonna say 1.6. So BMR, remember, the, the way we, that we find out our total daily calorie expenditure is we take the BMR, which is the number that we first found, and we times it by one of the activity factor levels. So we chose 1.6, which means that you work out five to six times a week. So 1,899, which is our BMR again, times our activity level, 1.6 equals 3,038. 3,038 calories. So what this number means is that we need to eat 3,038 calories in order to maintain our body weight due to our activity level. Okay, so remember earlier in this video, I said that you need to eat uh, less calories in a day than you're burning. So if our maintenance calories is 3,038, we need to eat less than that in order to lose weight. But in order to lose one pound of body weight a week, we need to uh, decrease that number by 500 calories. So let me tell you why we're decreasing it by specifically 500 calories. So in one pound of body weight, there is 3,500 calories. Okay, so how many days in a week are there? Seven, right. So you're gonna take that number, 3,500 calories, which equals one pound of body weight, and you're gonna divide that by the amount of days in the week, seven. So what number do you get when you divide that by seven? You get 500. So in order to lose one pound a week, you need to have a caloric deficit of 500 calories for seven days. 
for the week to total out 3,500 calories. Deficit total for the week, which equals one pound. So we're gonna take our, num our maintenance number that we just found out, and we're gonna subtract that by 500. So 3,038, 3,038, and we're gonna subtract that by 500, and we get 2,000. 538 and that is the number that this person this hypothetical person would consume in order to lose one pound of body weight a week so to answer your question Adam I would recommend for you to go back to the video write down the formula the whole entire formula that I gave and plug in your numbers Find out your basal metabolic rate. Once you have your basal metabolic rate, I want you to take that number and you're gonna times it by your activity level, which you can go back into the video and write down all the activity levels that I, that I said, and you're gonna pick the one that best subscribes or describes you. So you're gonna take your BMR, you're gonna times it by your activity level. You're gonna get the uh, number that is gonna tell you your maintenance calories the amount of calories that you're gonna have in order to maintain your weight. You're gonna subtract 500 from that number, and then you are gonna have the amount of calories that you need in order to lose the amount of weight which you, that you wanted. You said you wanted to lose 15 pounds in six months, so six months, that's 24 weeks, but if you want to lose 15 pounds at one pound a week, you can do that in 15 weeks, so you can reach your goal in uh, nine less weeks. So I think I did a pretty good service for you there, man. Keep up the hard work, guys. Email me more questions, comment down more questions so that I can give you guys valuable tips and information like this. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys next time.